I'm a graduate student at Texas Tech. I work for our Severe Storm Research team. Uh, we have some of our uh, instrumentation we use to study both uh, severe thunderstorms and uh, hurricanes out here today. Uh, over to my left is, is what we call a, a Sticknap probe. It's basically a complete surface observing station. You can monitor uh, all types of weather with it. Uh, we deploy it for both uh, severe thunderstorms and hurricanes. Uh, we can measure wind speed, direction, temperature, relative humidity. Uh, we can set one of these up very quickly. That's the point of them, to be able to uh, deploy these out ahead of a thunderstorm or in advance of a, a hurricane and get out of the way quickly. Um, we measure um, all the, the basic meteorological variables and uh, the idea is to just saturate an area with observation. So if there's an event, even if it's not a severe thunderstorm, if it's something we want to look at, we can deploy a whole bunch of these uh, out ahead and actually uh, try to document the event and uh, try to do any type of uh, ongoing research that uh, someone has an interest in. Okay. Oh. Now y'all have a whole trailer full oh, of these, yeah. right? Yeah, we've got 24 of them. We have two trailers full of 12 and they'll be... Uh, Just look in the trailer right. here. These, uh, we keep 12 inside the trailer. Uh, each has a data acquisition box, also a very large external battery that we use for hurricanes. It also comes in handy to charge them. Uh, the battery charger bank is up at the front of the trailer. We also have an Ethernet, basically a, a LAN connection inside the trailer so we can talk to each data acquisition box and download data very quickly. Um, so when we're in the field, say after a hurricane, we can download the data you know, almost immediately as soon as we pick them up. Uh, this year we were able to get data out to uh, the Hurricane Center and all the weather service offices probably within 24 hours of picking them up. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's the goal is to, to get that data out as quick as we can. And, uh, just, a, just a side note, these were all built and constructed by students from Atmospheric Science and Wind Engineering at Tech. Uh, they designed it and students have built it and implemented the whole program. Now I heard a little anecdote earlier about one that was on the Bolivar Peninsula. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, one of our probes got, we, we deployed it at Fort Travis on the Bolivar Peninsula for Hurricane Ike. Well, we couldn't get back to it because of storm surge damage and pretty much there was no way to get down there. So, you know, trying to pull as many strings as we could. Well, three weeks later, finally, some guys from the Galveston County uh, Emergency Operations Center went down and picked it up for us, brought it to the Weather Service office. And, uh, well, some of the Weather Service guys uh, went to Texas A&M. Well, they decided to put a Texas A&M meteorology sticker on the battery box. <laughs> so that didn't sit too well with us tech guys, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, they did us a big favor by picking it up. All right, now tell us about the, the mobile okay. mesonet here. This is a, what we call a mobile mesonet. It's a vehicle mounted instrument package. It's very similar to the stick nets and what it measures, except it's mounted on the roof of a car. Well, that, that makes it easier to actually collect data uh, following a storm, not necessarily just a point in space measurement. We can actually follow a storm with the mobile mesonet. The one, that's the one big advantage it has over the stick nets. Whereas stick nets can go into areas with, with larger hail where you wouldn't want to send a, a manned probe. Uh, that's its one big advantage. But the mobiles uh, do very well for just trying to follow a storm. If you're trying to stay within a specific feature, uh, you can do that very easily with the, the mobile uh, instrument package. Uh, we've also used it as a scout vehicle for our radars uh, during hurricane deployment. So we'll use them to scout deployment sites as well as uh, another data point during a storm. You know, have a pretty good big program playing this year, right? Oh yeah, this tech will be a huge part of the new Vortex, I guess second generation Vortex project. Uh, the stick nets will provide the primary surface observing station for the whole project. And we'll use all 24. And we'll also take our, our mobile radar out uh, for a portion of that project.